We are in the endocrine lab. In this lab, you're going to use the model and the slides to study the endocrine system. So you need to be familiar with all the endocrine glands, which means I'm going to point to one of them and ask you what's this endocrine gland. So the endocrine system's model look like this. This is the picture from the model. So it shows you all the endocrine glands, start from the brain. This one, that's the pituitary gland, include the, include the anterior pituitary and the posterior pituitary gland. So if I point at this one, ask you what's this endocrine organ, and your answer will be the pituitary gland. And go to the thyroid, thyroid gland. This is thyroid gland. And this is the posterior view. And in the posterior view of the thyroid, you see the four small dots. These four are parathyroid gland. So if I point at this one, ask you what's this endocrine organ, your answer is parathyroid gland, not thyroid gland. The heart is an endocrine gland, is an endocrine organ. Now let's go to here. Here we have the pancreas. So this is the pancreas. And we're going to have a slice, look at the inside of the pancreas. It's going to look like this. And this is your adrenal gland. Adrenal gland is the endocrine gland. So you have a cortex and medulla. And this is the adrenal gland. And these two pretty easy. These are the gonads. So the male, the female, testes, ovaries. And let's look at two slices. The first one is adrenal gland. So adrenal gland look like this. This is adrenal gland. And when we slice it, outside inside they're different so the outside called the adrenal cortex inside called the adrenal medulla so let's look at the slice the slice look like this so that's the cortex that's the medulla structurally they are different because functionally they are really different adrenal medulla that's the uh, para it is a sympathetic nervous system it's a nervous tissue it's a modified sympathetic ganglia so it releases epinephrine and norepinephrine Adrenal cortex is completely endocrine system. It releases uh, steroid hormones. Three steroid hormones released from here. Androgen, um, aldosterone, and uh, cortisol, stress hormone released from the adrenal cortex. So structurally, they are very different. So if I give you this slide, ask you, okay, identify the adrenal gland. And you only have two answers, either the adrenal cortex or adrenal medulla. Now let's look at the pancreas. So the pancreas look like this. So this is the pancreas. Pancreas is both endocrine and exocrine organ. So the exocrine part releases digestive enzymes to your duodenum, uh, which is the beginning part of the small intestines. We will talk about it in unit five. And today we focus on the adrenal, uh, focus on the end endocrine system of the pancreas. So let's look at the, the pancreas. The pancreas look like this. And most of them are exocrine. And now let's look at the structure. This structure called the isolate of leg and hand. And the isolate of leg and hand, that's the endocrine organ. So if I give you this slice, I point this, ask you what's this ball? And that's the isolate of leg and hands. And this is the endocrine organ. It releases the insulin and glucagon. And both of them regulate the blood sugar level. So the insulin can lower your blood sugar, uh, release after you eat a big meal. And glucagon is released uh, to increase your blood sugar. When you're super hungry, your body going to release glucagon. So both of them are released from the isolate of leg and head. Okay, that's it.